Hi, this is Monica, and welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I got some shit that has been on my mind for the last three weeks since I made that last video that I need to talk to y'all about because what the fuck, man? I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, so last the last time we talked, I talked about I had got asked to get married. Fine. You know what I'm saying? I knew this prior to me making the majority of videos. I already knew that I was getting married because I was the one that got asked. Okay, but anywho, since then I got called to ops. I was exposed to measles. I thought I gained nine pounds. It's a lot going on. I mean, what the fuck? It's a lot going on. So, I don't even know what you want to talk about at this point. I'm stressed out a little bit. Not really, but a little bit about... Um, my weight. I made an appointment for Friday to start my shots back up because, no. Even though I knew that the weight that I thought I had gained, that I thought was on that scale, which I know I shouldn't be on that scale, but I still thought, like, Monica get on the scale. I got on the motherfucker and it, it proved me right. I think I w what Okay, stop. I'm rambling. Stop. First of all, we have to go back. When I first lost my weight, I lost a lot of muscle tone, as you can see here. You can see here. Don't pay attention to my damn Bengals blanket, but you see that here and all this. I had lost a lot of muscle mass. So I wanted to gain some muscle back, so I've been going to the gym with my best friend, Gene. It to be going back to going to the gym with my best friend, Gene, I had noticed my weight going up 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 i started at 249 then i went to 255 and then i went to 257 and then one day i seen 262 i panicked completely boom i'm panicking so what did i do i stopped and started thinking like monica is some of that water so i started taking my water pills but then i ran out and had to go back and get some more it was a whole mess okay so but i started that this morning i weighed in at 253 I've been wearing like the sweatband and all this other stuff, watching what I eat and stuff like this because it's like I told y'all, I always focus on my weight. I don't give a fuck what goes on. I focus on the fact that I don't want to be back 349, 60, 349 pounds is what I weigh. 59 or 49, somewhere around there. But anywho, I don't want to go back there. So I try, try, try to maintain, but it's not working. So I'm going back to the doctor so I can start my shots back up. And not as many shots, but I need the shots because my appetite is picking up. But we'll talk about that in the next part of this, whatever the fuck, this video. I don't know. See, I've told y'all in previous videos, but if you went back on my page, you will see. When I get like this and when shit becomes like overwhelming, I have to talk about it because I don't talk to a lot of people. I don't. I don't talk to a lot of humans, dogs, cats, bats, crats, none of that shit. I don't. But recently, I'm going to tell you, if you don't straighten out the shit that's going on around you, the shit that you need to focus on, like your weight or whatever the fuck, it's going to all... I learned this recently. It's all going to come into play. If you got a lot of shit on your plate... And you don't clear it off or you take on a lot of shit and you're not taking care of yourself. That causes you to eat. I know it do because I ate a lot. But for me to maintain, I've been like super focusing on it and I shouldn't have to super focus on it. So I'm stressed out. As you can see, you can clearly see my 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 demeanor is different. I'm not stressed out in a bad way. I'm stressed out because I'm planning for this wedding. I got other shit that I got to take care of. And then on top of that, see, I told y'all in one of the videos, I don't, I don't claim a lot of friends. I don't. And if you know me, you know, I'm telling the truth. I don't, I'm an introvert completely, but somebody that was near and dear to me, I called them to come over and just to chit chat, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, not to talk about anything in the past because I'm the type of person. I'm not, a, a I don't, backpedal if i if i do something i just it is what it is i leave it like it is i don't i don't feel like it's one of those stand on business things i don't feel like stand on it or no repetitious little slogan is gonna fix that i just don't give a fuck i don't go back so this person that i considered a new friend 
told me on the phone, like, are you setting me up? For her to even question whether or not I was setting her up or not, like, that's not my friend. That's not my friend because if you know me, you know. What the fuck? I'm 53. Who the fuck sets anybody up at 53? Please, somebody in, in the audience, tell me. I got a weight, wedding, and all this other extra stress. My mom and all this other extra shit going on. And I got time to set a motherfucker up for what? When I leave a situation, I leave it alone. Like, I left that fat alone. I leave shit alone. I've told y'all time and time again. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. If I can walk away from my sister and she's in a cemetery, I can walk away from any motherfucking body. And I walked away from See, her. this is a complete brain dump at this point. This is me telling y'all what the fuck is going on. Because, see, at the end of the day... All this comes into play. I can't let, I can't go back on, oh, I shoulda, woulda, coulda, and all this other stuff. Because when I get like that, I eat. I told y'all, I use food as like a security blanket. So when all this shit was going on recently with my so-called friend saying that I was the op and that I... Like, she didn't say I was the op, but she gave the inclination. Like, like she made it seem like I was. She was like, well, because we, I parted ways with the job that she currently is working at. And I parted ways and I left it alone. I never called. I don't use them for references. I don't do none of that shit. Because when something makes me feel like I don't belong, I don't belong. So I, I left. No notice, no nothing. Turned my shit in, left. Boom. But on me leaving, I never called. I never called corporate. I never dug into it. I never did none of that shit. But it's but still, because you when you are around a lot of negativity and negative ass people and people that don't got nothing else better to do with their time but sit up and promote negativity, that ain't never been my thing. So... These people that filled it up in her head because me and her was close, close. They that filled it up in her head like I'm the op. I'm not even in the mood to fight about it. I'm not even in the mood to defend myself about it. Because it showed me then when she said, are you setting me up until she tried to play it off like it was like uh, passive. I said, no. I said, but look at God. Won't he do it? He will show you what the fuck is going on. I said, no, nah, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to set you up. Oh, then she made some excuse about she had to go get her something to eat, and she'll come back here tomorrow. I blocked her. I blocked her. I put her back on the block list because I honestly missed her. But because I'm not that type of bitch to backpedal. Anytime I walked away from my sister in the cemetery, you're blocked. If I could turn my back on somebody I love for 46 years plus. I don't need that. So I left it alone. Not going back. So that stress is off of me. So I don't have to worry. But the day that it happened, the next day I went to work. And I ate something that I wasn't supposed to eat, but I ate. And I felt so bad about it. Oh, my God. I felt so bad about it that I, I felt like I needed to talk to y'all. Because at the end of the day, who else to talk to but y'all? But... This is the things that's going on. I told y'all be I trying. mean, I don't, I just didn't get it. You know what I mean? I just didn't get why she thought that out of all... I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Then on top of that, I got my best friend. My best friend got to get her dress. I picked my wedding dress up yesterday. I dropped it off at my mom's house. I laid it in her extra bedroom, locked the door, boom. Nobody can see the dress. Okay, great. Okay, but at the end of the day, this is a moment that I wanted to share with everybody, even y'all. I wanted to share this with y'all because y'all have been on like a semi journey, but some people been here since the beginning. But at the end of the day, why wouldn't I? But then I'm sitting here. Is that box messed up back there? <laughs> okay, that's better. But at the end of the day, I thought that this person was my friend. I ain't spoke ill of this woman. I ain't said shit. So, yeah, I'm going through that. Then on top of that, I got my son. 
he mad because he fucked up. I held him accountable. Oh, so he blocked me off of his phone that I paid the bill on. So guess who ain't paying it? Me. I'm not taking no shit from nobody. I don't give a fuck if it's one person at my wedding at this point. Being very honest. The stress I have to let go of. Because if I let a motherfucker shake my shit, I've noticed recently, I eat. I'm not going back there. So in order for me not to go back there, I got to let whatever is a little bit trying to stress me out, I got to let it go. I got to let it go. Story time. I I don't want to talk too much about it, but I'm going to say this. January 25th, 2024. I decided not only to take a leap of faith, I decided to leave my job. Just I didn't have a job to back it up. I didn't know what I was going to do for money. I didn't know none of that shit. But what I the fuck knew is that I had to go. And I left. And I feel so much lighter. I feel lighter. I feel happy. I feel pleasant. I don't feel like I'm I'm clocking into a prison. I don't. I don't feel like I owe anybody anything. I didn't explain it and I'm not going to explain it. I don't. I, I don't. So with me leaving that position, did I take almost a $2 loss? Yes, I did. But it's worth it. Mentally, it's worth it. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm starting over. I didn't just get my life back when I lost the weight. I got my life back, period. And I'm not- I be so fucked up. Like, I be thinking the shit just to fucking get through my god darn day that I don't, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get it. I try to stay out the way and I try to stay focused and try to stay positive. But shit just be popping the fuck off. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I be trying, like, I don't get it. Like, people just, I think they just try you just to be trying you. You can't let them try you, they say. Don't let their ass have it, they say. Stay positive, they say. So when the fuck am I supposed to defend myself? I just need to fucking know because at this point in life, I'm going to let you, I, I don't know. I just, I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm fucked up in the mind right now. I don't know. I think that phone call threw me. I think this is the reason why I'm making this video. It's because that phone call last night threw me. Can't let it break me, though. I can't. I just got to keep going forward because I... Mm-mm, mm-mm. So, on a lighter note, maybe if I start my shots back, I'm thinking... Because I know the shots don't got nothing to do with brain function. If they, if anybody knows if those shots got anything to do with brain function, please let me know. Because it seemed like when I was taking my shot that my mind stayed clearer. I wasn't so crowded up there. It wasn't shit wasn't popping off. Stop my shot. All hell broke loose. So I think I got to start my shots back because... I've been going through it mentally. Like, I don't know. My weight been bothering me. The way that I eat been bothering me. The ways my clothes look on me been bothering me. It's just a lot bothering me. So, I think I'm going to start my shots back. I was happy when I was taking my shots. I wasn't worried about eating. I wasn't worried about overeating. I wasn't worried about pork and all that shit. I was worried only about everyday living. I can't everyday live right now because... Shit is going awry around this motherfucking piece. I don't know. I don't know. Shit's going bad. It's going bad. But I'm not letting it shake me. Do I go to the gym three days a week? No, I go like maybe one. On a good week, two. Because I can't just go to my wedding and be built like a figure eight plus one. I'm No, I'm not. So I got to get the... Oh, uh, oh, before I... Uh, now, before we even talk about that, let's talk about this big back stuff. Okay, so I was watching Risa Tisa. Okay, so I watched all 50 things of Risa Tisa. Was Risa Tisa right? Yeah. Was Charlemagne the God wrong? Of course he was. We're going to talk about that. Is that guy on my nerves? Okay, I don't like to talk about other people's problems. That's my purse. I didn't, what was in the box. 
Um, I don't like to talk about other people's problems because I got my own problems. I don't worry about social media shit because I don't. Is the app? Is the app? Okay. So me watching Risa Tista, did she watch Risa Tista get all these endorsements and all this other stuff about a story that she told? Okay. Then she went in to talk about how Charlamagne the God and Jess Hilarious had made little comments or whatever. You got to understand. I get comments. I do. I get comments about all oh, my attitude, how I cuss, my mouth bad, or oh, what the hell. I do. Oh, Monica, you're not a, um, a guru, and anybody can lose 125 pounds, and that's fine. I get that. But you, when you choose to put your life out here, for people to actually judge you, they going to talk shit. I had one. I got rid of him, remember? A couple of videos back. Yeah, I got rid of him. Tighten their ass up and leave it alone. But instead, Reese Tisa got on there and she was talking about that and Charlamagne apologized and all this other stuff. Now about the big back thing. My husband has asked me for a lot of shit. Never, not once have my husband ever asked me for no big back. Hey, baby, can I have some big back? Can I have some of that big back? No. My husband ain't never asked me for no fucking big back. Never. Do I give a fuck about that kind of comment? No, I don't. Do I do people say stuff? I don't give a shit. Because at the end of the day, for if a woman or a man got time to judge another woman or man, you have no life of your own. If you got to pick out somebody else's flaws, you got you don't have a life of your own. You you downplaying somebody else's life to make your life look better. So do I think Jess Hilarious or Charlemagne the God was wrong? That's their opinion. We chose to put our life out here. So it is what it is. Do I give a fuck about it? No, I don't. Do I care what if anybody say anything about the Big Bang? Better not say it to me. Because I'm going to say it right back to you. I'll give a damn if you're 115 pounds. Who gives a damn about that? Who gives a damn? I had made a comment that my boss, my, my ex-boss, had said, um, this is not going to be a big back summer. She said that comment. Did I give a fuck about it? No. Did it make me a little insecure? Yes, it did. did I, do I look at my back several times? I do. Am I trying to work on it? Yes, I am. But if, it gets, if, it's, if it's on there come wedding day, it's on there. If it's not on there come wedding day, it's not on there. I give a fuck less about either or. So that big bad comment, don't nobody need to really dwell on that. I mean, grow the fuck up. It's name calling. We had that going on when we was in school. Grow up. It is what it is. I think I want to end this video here because I'm annoyed. I done got irritated. I done got annoyed. People don't, people don't watch what they say when it comes to you when you make a big transformation like the one that I made. I didn't just try to transform myself. I tried to transform my entire life in one session, one sitting. I got my weight off. I quit the job that was making me, that was totally taking over my life. I got another job and I, I moved on. I get married and all this other stuff. I should be at my highest point right now. Today I go and I look at the venue with me and my husband. We go sign the papers or whatever for the venue, which is fine. But I don't think that people is taking into consideration some of the shit that they doing and how it affects other people's lives. I really don't. I'm saying this to say, when you are on a weight loss journey or any journey, a healing journey, any kind of journey that you may be on, don't let other people, sad people, sad people, distract you from what the fuck you, your end goal. My end goal is to succeed. And that's what the fuck I'm going to do. Whether or not somebody liked the way I talk or, or I cuss too much or I smoke cigarettes on here or I have wine or whatever it is that I do. That's my that's my business. As far as the situation with my son, my child, my my child, he gonna have to grow the fuck up. I'm not gonna kiss no kid's ass. You is the, I am the parent. The fuck I look like. Explain anything to my child. Grow up, little boy. Because I'm not going to hold your hand with this one. I'm not. He didn't do nothing bad. He just thought he could talk to me in your kind of way or treat me in the kind of way he wanted to. No. I had him. He didn't have me. Me and him would never be the same age. I'm not explaining to no kids. I don't give a fuck what, how, what age he is. 
I'm the mother. It's going to go my way or no way. Period. And as far as my, my so-called friend, when she said that shit to me, she should have knew it was done then. It's a done deal. We can say hi to each other. It's a high and by situation. You can't sit with me no more, ma'am. Because you thought I was the eye. And if anybody knows me, I'm a loyal motherfucker. I'm not sitting with the eye. The next thing, the weight. I'm going to take my shots on Friday. I'm 253 pounds. You've seen it on the front of the screen because I used it as my thing so you can see. I took it today. At the end of the day, I'm going to get the rest of this weight off. 240. I'll be good. The longer I'm staying away from three, I'm good. So, yeah, I think this video was to clear my mind more than anything. For y'all to listen. Y'all say y'all in it with me. Y'all going to listen. See, I think this weight loss thing was for me. It was just for me. Because when I lost my weight, I lost my, I give a damn. Mm -hmm. That's what I think I lost. I didn't lose my mind. I think I lost my, I give a damn. Because I don't give a damn. I don't. If somebody chooses to be in my life, okay. I just ain't going back to that fat. If somebody chooses to walk away, okay. Once again, she ain't going back. See, stress has got a way for you to go and do shit that you're not planning on doing. Like eating. I'm not. I'm not. I eat. Don't get me wrong. Have my eating habits gotten better yet? Yeah. But am I going back to that? Absolutely not. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I appreciate every comment, negative or positive. The negative comments give me fuel to blow your shit down. With this right, with this right here. But as far as anything else, I'm not changing anything. I'm not backpedaling. I'm not apologizing. I'm not sorry. I'm not. Because at the end of the day, if I don't stand my grounds, grab my balls and keep motherfucking going, I ain't a real motherfucking bitch. I got to get through this shit. Because I see now that everything is coming at me that's negative and I can't let it do it. Because when I let negativity in, I eat. So I gotta let it I gotta let it go. So what am I letting go of? Bad friendships, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bad acquaintance friendships, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to I'm not I'm letting go of trying to mend fences with kids. I'm no. I'm always be his mom. He's always gonna be my son, and he's always gonna love me, and I'm always gonna love him. But it's not written in the Bible, it's not written nowhere for me to have to kiss his ass. I'm not doing it. Am, am I going to give a fuck about what people say about me at this point? Absolutely. That's a no. Am I going to sit and I'm going to dwell on the past? I don't. Then I ain't doing it now. So, yeah. I'm going to end this video here because I don't. I mm -mm. Do I feel better since I talked to y'all? Yeah, I do. Michael Jackson feels better too. And so does that stuff in my chair that I ain't got out in a week because I ain't been off. I'm off today, but I'm not wasting my time with that. I'll clean it up later. But nevertheless, I came to y'all and I came to talk to y'all. So it is what it is. But like, comment, and subscribe, honey. And listen to the video. So if you want to, you want to. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.